Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Gemini for the week of April 4th through 10th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel as well as left a thumbs up and comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And the Page of Wands. So there you go. Some sort of message, long distance call coming in for you this week. For some of you, this could be a different time zone. And this could be a phone call for travel in the future and travel for work as well for some others. All right. And the devil card. So the worst is over. You've realized what's been, you know, nagging at you, holding you back. You've been carefully thinking this over for a while. In this situation, you know, perhaps maybe you had expectations put upon you or you put upon yourself or what other people would think about you. So you've held yourself back by not doing what speaks to your, you know, your heart. So you're setting up boundaries this week for yourself with others that, you know, they need to avoid in order to move forward with you. And the magician. So there you are. You know, you're facing a difficult challenge. You're reminding yourself to stay focused. You're following your inner strength. And you always have. You know, you're realizing, you know, the situation where you're at is not quite what you wanted it to be. So you're realizing, you know, your potent your own potential of which you want to have in the future. So this is it's good. You know, it gives you the advice and the courage to move forward. And when you make that first step, it's almost like the whole universe is listening and will help you to move forward. And there you are, the Six of Swords. So definitely moving on. Now, this could be in a job as well for some of you. Maybe you've gotten a better job offer someplace else. So you're thinking of, you know, moving the whole family, lock, stock and barrel to better shores, calmer shores. You know, you're tired of seeming like you're always trying to please somebody else or too many arguments for your own liking. You know, this could be you literally physically moving to a totally different area for yourself where you'll feel more appreciated and content with your life. And the Queen of Swords. So most definitely standing your ground. You know, you're getting that that courage to not feel so held back and, and scared to, you know, verbally say what you're thinking. I though that's not usually how that works for you. You're very, you know, outspoken, but this is the week that, you know, you always try to do it diplomatically. You never try to go out of your way to hurt people, but sometimes your words are very cutting. So you've held your back, yourself back, you know, but this is the week that you're going to face the, the truth of the matter so that you can move yourself forward. Yeah, there you go. The eight of pent or the eight of cups. So you're definitely thinking of moving on. For sure, for some of you, you know, better shores. Maybe you put a lot of energy and effort into different aspects of your your life. This could be your job. This could be your home, your relationships, and all of the above. And you're realizing that you know, and you're just tired. You're you're always working. You're always you know putting effort in, and and doesn't feel like you're getting any rewards for your efforts. So you're really considering this as the week of cutting the ties and moving on to greener pastures for yourself. And the king of wands. So definitely motivated to changing things in your life this week. You know, you've questioned your entire process in your life this far, you know, but you're making a plan for yourself in the future. And once you make that plan, you don't waver off that. You, you're you really determined to carry through with this. Yeah, and you're quite independent. Even though I, I think you don't realize how independent you are, you can take care of yourself financially as well as otherwise. You're a very capable person. And I don't think you give yourself enough credit about that. 
I think you hold yourself back in many aspects thinking that, you know, if I had somebody else to, you know, stay with or deal with. And my answer usually to that is you need to be able to live with yourself first before you should live with another. If you're depending on another to make you happy, it will not pan out in the future. And the two of pentacles. So there you are, you know, holding up the pentacles, just waiting for something to drop. Usually when it does, it breaks and it's not a good thing. So, you know, you're just walking on eggshells this week, trying to make this decision. And seven of cups. And there you are. You got lots of really wonderful ideas rolling around in your head for yourself. You know, good inventions. Maybe you've come up with something. You're thinking of getting it patented and wondering how to go about that. For others of you, you just need to stay focused on what you want to have in the future and making those steps moving forward to make it happen for yourself. Yeah, and the Ace of Wands. So there you are, you know, opportunities are lining up and you realize it. And you're also realizing that you need to close the doors on different areas of your life that hasn't brought you happiness. You know, at, at first it does, but you realize quite quickly that you bit off more than you should chew. So you're, you know, holding on to your energy. You're stepping forward in the future. And if this is in your career, it's a new career. It's a creative project that perhaps you've wanted to do for a long time. And you've just either felt you didn't have the funds to do it, or maybe you didn't have enough knowledge in it. But now you're finally getting that understanding that you have all of that. So that's very nice. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. You're successful on your ventures. You know, if you're thinking of putting some money away for the yourself in the future so that you don't have to feel like you're obligated to anybody else and you can take care of yourself, you're learning where to invest that money this week so that you have enough for yourself in the future. You know, you're learning uh, what good deals really are. You're not paying full price for different things. You know, you're learning that if I want something, I can, if I spend a little bit of effort and time, I can find the deals that are exactly the same, but at better prices. So this is quite the opportunity week for yourself. You know, you're starting a new business for some of you, you know, and, and you're realizing what you have to do to line it up that it all falls into place. So you're really going forward with this this week. You're finally, you know, manning up to this situation and it hasn't been an easy decision for you. And the Five of Swords. So there you are. You know, you've put off making this decision for a long time. You've put up with a lot of different things in your life. And maybe this was just questions that you had put upon yourself. It wasn't even somebody else did it to you. So you're, you know, keeping to yourself. You're moving forward because you know you have to. This is the time for yourself. And time's up, you know. It's something in your life isn't quite panning out the way you want it. So you're casting your lines out into the universe so that you can go forward with a dream of your own. You know, this is something you can build, but you're keeping it all to yourself this time. You're not sharing it with anybody because you don't want to be ridiculed or questioned or, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, sometimes that's what you have to do when you've been, you know, had your ideas shot down so many times in the past that you, you know, put people in their places and things and tell them like, you're not allowed to talk to me that way anymore but you're still not giving them anything in the future and you're just moving on your own path here. I think you're going to spend a little bit of time with yourself getting the answers to the questions that you have and you're realizing that, you know, maybe those doors that you shut on different people was because other people suggested it. It wasn't your own. So now you're re-questioning that part of your life as well. But yeah, I think you're really considering moving on to better places for yourself, happier times. So that's good. 
making some pretty big decisions this week. All right, I'm going to draw you an angel oracle card. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Well, that's beautiful. All right, and on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.